Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow triangle uh, ACD along with this uh, angle bisector AB as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this angle uh, CAB is uh, theta and likewise uh, the angle uh, DAB is uh, theta as well and moreover uh, this side length uh, AC is uh, 3 units whereas uh, this other side length uh, AD is uh, 4 uh, units and furthermore the area of this uh, yellow triangle uh, ACD has been given to us as 3 times uh, square root of 3 square units and now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, angle bisector AB please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle ACD. And we know its uh, side lengths are uh, 3 and uh, 4. So what do you think? Is this uh, side length uh, CD is going to be 5? So the, this triangle is going to be 3, 4, 5 only if... Uh, this uh, angle uh, CAD is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this whole angle uh, CAD and moreover the area of this uh, yellow triangle ACD has been given to us uh, as 3 times square root of 3. So therefore we have two options. And one of the options is the area of a triangle formula, area equals to a half times base times height. And we can see that this formula is not going to work because we don't know our base and the height. So therefore we are going to rule out this area of a triangle formula. So therefore we are going to apply this area of a triangle formula. And the area of triangle is equal to a half times A times B times sine of angle C. As you can see in this diagram, we got sides A and B and C is the angle in between them. And in our case, our side lengths are 3 and 4 and this is the angle in between them. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. The area of this triangle has been given to us as uh, 3 times uh, square root of uh, 3 equals to 1 uh, divided by 2 and they, our side lengths are uh, 3 times uh, 4 times uh, sine of uh, our angle to theta. This whole angle is uh, 2 theta. Let's simplify this thing that is going to give us 3 times uh, square root of 3 equal to 6 uh, times sine of uh, angle to theta. And now we are going to divide both sides by 6 and here we can see 6 and 6 is gone. So therefore uh, sine of uh, 2 theta turns out to be square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore we can write uh, angle 2 theta is going to be sine uh, inverse of uh, square root of uh, 3 divided by 2. And now we know that sine of uh, 60 degrees equals to square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore we conclude that uh, this uh, angle 2 theta is going to be equal to 60 degrees. Let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate theta. So therefore our angle theta turns out to be 30 degrees. So therefore our this angle CAD turns out to be 30 degrees and likewise this other angle DAB is 30 degrees as well. And here's our next step. Let's make an observation. We can see the area of this whole yellow triangle uh, ACD is going to be equal to the area of uh, this uh, triangle ABC plus uh, the area of this other triangle uh, ABD as you can see in this uh, equation. And now we can see the area of this yellow triangle uh, ACD has been 
given to us uh, as 3 times square root of 3. However, we don't know the area of this uh, triangle ABC and the other uh, triangle ABD. So therefore, now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and this other triangle uh, area ABD as well. Let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, equation as uh, equation uh, number one. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And we are going to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC. Let's assume the length uh, for this uh, angle bisector AB is uh, X. So therefore, we are going to apply this uh, area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, a times b times sine of angle uh, c and in our case our side lengths are 3 and x and the angle between them is uh, 30 degrees so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so it's going to be 1 uh, divided by 2 times uh, 3 times x uh, times uh, sine of uh, angle uh, 30 degrees and now we can see sine of uh, 30 degrees equals to 1 divided by 2. So therefore, I'm going to replace this one by 1 divided by 2. So therefore, this is going to become uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 3x uh, times uh, 1 divided by 2 as well. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 3x uh, divided by 4. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 3x divided by 4. Let me call this our equation uh, number 2. And now let's focus on this uh, other triangle uh, ABD. And we are going to find the area of this uh, triangle. And we are going to use this uh, very same area of a triangle formula once again uh, on this uh, triangle. And this time our side lengths are x uh, and 4 and the angle between them is uh, 30 degrees. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. We got 1 divided by 2 times uh, x uh, times uh, 4 times uh, sine of uh, 30 degrees uh, once again. And now let's recall once again sine of 30 degrees is 1 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace this sine of 30 degrees by 1 divided by 2 over here. So therefore, uh, this is going to become uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 4x uh, times uh, 1 divided by 2 as well. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, simply x. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABD turns out to be x. Let me call this uh, our equation uh, number uh, 3. And here's our final step. Let's recall this uh, equation one once again. And we know the area of this uh, yellow triangle uh, ACD is uh, 3 times the uh, square root of 3. The area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC is uh, 3x uh, divided by 4. And finally, the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABD is uh, x. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced uh, their values over here and now in this uh, next step x could be written as uh, 4x divided by 4 to make sure we have the same uh, common denominator so therefore we can write uh, 7x uh, divided by 4 equals to 3 times the square root of uh, 3 let me multiply both sides by the reciprocal 4 divided by 7 on this side and uh, 4 divided by 7 on the right hand uh, side as well to isolate x. So therefore we can see this 4 and 4 is gone, 7 and 7 is gone. So therefore our x value turns out to be 12 times the square root of uh, 3 divided by 7. So thus our x value turns out to be 12 times square root of 3 divided by 7. And we know that x uh, represents this uh, side uh, AB. So therefore our uh, AB length uh, turns out to be 12 times square root of 3 divided by 7. And thus here is our uh, AB length. And this could also be written as approximately equal to 2.97 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.